BYD's stock price has collapsed nearly 50% within the last few weeks. Should you buy the stock or should you not? Well, I'm going to tell you why you should be buying BYD stock immediately if you have even a spare dollar. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. And as you know, I'm a big fan of BYD. Now, as we don't actually have sales figures for May of 2022, let's have a look at January of this year versus January of last year. In January last year, BYD delivered 42,000 vehicles. Most of those were electric or plug-in hybrid, but around 20% were gas powered. In January of this year, BYD delivered 95,000, more than double the number of vehicles, well over double. Of those, nearly all of them, in other words, 98% were electric or plug-in hybrid. A bit more than 50% were fully electric and just under 50% were plug-in hybrid. In other words, BYD doesn't make ICE vehicles anymore, or at least not purely ICE vehicles anyway. Now, if we have a look at BYD sales figures last year, we'll see that in June of 2021, BYD delivered 49,000 vehicles, about 50% electric and about 50% plug-in hybrid. Now, that's the same approximate percentage that they would follow for the rest of the year. But in July, BYD delivered 56,000, 975,000 vehicles. The following month, they delivered 10,000 more, 67,630. The following month, they delivered 13,000 more with 80,000. The following month, they delivered another 9,000 more with 89,000. Then the following month, they hit 97,242. And then in December, they hit 98,000 deliveries. Somehow, in the second quietest month of the year, historically in China, BYD hit 95,000 deliveries. 50% of those were EVs and 50% were plug-in hybrids. In other words, BYD is delivering more than 100% the number of EVs and plug-in hybrids this year than they were at the same time last year. Now, on the 5th of November 2021, BYD stock price hit an all-time high of 79 US dollars. Since then, their share price has tumbled to 47 US dollars. However, there is nothing negative that we can report during that period of time about the company. But we do know a couple of things. They have signed a contract to deliver vehicles for Toyota, which will be basically BYD vehicles rebadged as Toyotas. In addition to that, we know that BYD will open one of the world's largest factories in two months time. In fact, it's big enough to call it a gigafactory and it should be able to produce at least 750,000 EVs per year for BYD. In addition to that, this year, they are also building a battery gigafactory. Yes, it's gonna be making their own batteries. They won't be buying them from someone else and it will provide 100 gigawatt hours of batteries, enough for 2 million EVs. This year, it looks as though BYD will deliver likely 1.5 to 1.6 million electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids. And there's a possibility they could hit 2 million. By 2025, they plan on hitting 3.5 million. And my estimates, by 2030, they'll probably hit around 8 million EVs. Right now, it could be the best time in history to buy this stock. And it may never be this cheap again. Remember, it is the most vertically integrated car company on the face of the planet. Yes, Tesla aspires to be BYD when it comes to vertical integration. They make their own chips, they make their own batteries, they make almost everything that goes into the vehicle themselves. And it's the key reason why they were able to do what I just told you, increase their sales of EVs by around 10,000 every month for seven straight months last year. When the rest of the automotive market was whining and moaning and bitching and complaining and saying they couldn't build any cars and, and sorry customers, we can't make cars for you because we don't have enough chips. And you know, BYD was doing the exact opposite and increasing their sales every single month by massive numbers. 
The other key thing to remember is BYD is one of the largest manufacturers of mobile phones on the face of the earth. In addition, they do make a pretty good profit from that business. Plus, they're also the fourth largest battery company on the face of the planet. And fortunately for them, all of their battery production lines, well, nearly all of them, 90%, manufacture LFP batteries, which are very clearly, as we now know, the battery chemistry of the future. Lithium ion phosphate batteries will become the number one chemistry on the face of the planet within the next few years. They've already done so in China. They now hold more than 65% of the battery market in China. And they are approximately 40 to 50% cheaper than NCA and NCM chemistry batteries, particularly in light of the fact that the price of nickel has skyrocketed over the last few weeks, which hasn't affected BYD batteries at all because their batteries don't have nickel in them. So why is their stock price collapsing? And is it a reasonable thing to happen considering the news we know? Basically, in other words, the market right now has, you know, it's gone and said, well, nickel prices are going crazy. EV companies is, are going to be affected significantly by this news, but no one has said BYD is not being affected. So this gives them a structural advantage over the West. I mean, realistically, 95% of the cars produced in the West right now don't have LFP batteries, whereas companies like Rivian and Volkswagen are saying, whoa, 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 we need LFP batteries. We need what BYD is doing right now. Clearly, BYD is ahead of the curve in a number of areas. Another big advantage they have is everything they manufacture is made in China. And yes, the cost of doing business there is much lower. Here's an example of one of the advantages of making things in China. BYD's current Gigafactory that's going to come online within two months. Well, that was announced in July of last year. And production of the factory started the following month in August. Now, the crazy thing is that building is already complete. Only seven months after production started. And they're currently actually putting production lines into the factory right now. I mean, obviously, you probably wouldn't be aware of this because the Western media isn't interested in what's happening in China. It's not relevant, apparently, but it should be relevant to you. Can you invest in BYD? Well, you can. Personally, I've invested in the company under the ticker BYDDY, and I've used the trading app called Stake to do so. Now, using Stake, you can purchase over-the-counter stocks or pink slip stocks. If you're in Australia or New Zealand or numerous other countries, it's hard to purchase over-the-counter stocks, but using Stake, it's actually quite easy. And in fact, you don't even pay any brokerage fees on every trade you make. You do pay a slight fee when you transfer money into your account. I think it's a couple of percent, but that's the only fee you'll pay. Now, if you want to start a, an account using Stake, I'll put my code in the description below. You can use that code to actually get a free stock when you start your account. You might as well use it because it's not going to hurt you. You're going to get a free stock, so it makes sense. Now, for Americans, there are obviously for you guys plenty of different tra ways you can trade and buy over-the-counter stocks in the US. It's a lot easier than what it is in most other countries in the world. So, you know, go ahead and use whatever platform you want to use. Now, if you've seen my video, my forecast for 2030 for the automotive landscape, you'd know that I believe BYD will be one of the three largest car companies on the face of the planet. But based on BYD's current production rates, on their battery developments, on how quickly they are scaling up, I actually don't see them as being one of the top three anymore. I see them in second place by 2030. I'll have a new video coming with my predictions on their number of vehicles that I believe BYD will deliver every year for the next eight years until we get to 2030. That's coming soon. Make sure you subscribe and press the bell notifications icon so you can check that video out when it comes out. Those predictions will be based on the number of factories that they have under production, the number of battery factories they have under production, and where I see their potential capacity actually being based on their announcements for what they're planning over the next decade. Now, remember, one key advantage BYD have over, well, it's a massive advantage over Toyota, over Stellantis, over Ford, over the entire legacy automotive industry. That is their battery costs, which have led to them being able to produce electric vehicles at price parity with internal combustion engine vehicles. They're probably the only large company in the world because there are smaller Chinese automakers that can do similar things as well, apparently, right now. 
that can actually pull this off. And well, we know what Stellantis is saying. We know what Toyota is saying. They're saying that they can't do this. They're saying that it costs them about 50% more to make an EV. Well, if BYD can already sell them at price parity at a profit, you can see they have a huge advantage over their competitors. And I don't see how that's an advantage that's gonna go away anytime soon. In fact, if anything, that advantage may in fact grow as BYD continues to scale up massively. And if you think about it, they're scaling up at a, such a fast rate that I just don't see how it's possible for Legacy Auto to catch them, especially when they're so vertically integrated as well. Now, like I said, I own the stock. You know, do your own research in regards to whether or not you should buy the stock. But all I'm saying is right now, I'm loading up as much as I can. So read into that what you will. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.